Liberia and Victoria 3. Path to Liberty. Last time we managed to fix our market. And so far things are going great. We are number one in terms of GBD, GDP per capita, so we must be doing something right. Um, our literacy rates are through the roof and we have 23 standard of living. So that's good. Number one in the world. But we are facing a couple of issues. The communist Prussian flu continues to threaten our country. Uh, the deadly flu has now been named just flu with the convenient space left for the variable. The reason for that being that communist Prussia is no more. It has lost the civil war against Prussia. <laughs> so this is a bit of a bug. But nonetheless, we continue to fight against the communist Prussian flu. And I'm thinking about expansion into these areas. Now, one thing that is of concern for me is that we have a general lack in coal. And how about instead of trying our best to import this coal, we just annexed Benin instead. So this is something that we're going to try to do. And let's unpause the game and start focusing on our objectives. So first of all, let's try to control the pandemic response. Um, yes, yeah, so we can mandate a strict lockdown or distancing and protective masks. <laughs> you probably heard about those. And you can say, we're not going to do anything. And I'm going to go with the middle answer. Right. Other than that, the flu keeps running in null state. Our thoughts and prayers go to the people of null state, the nullians. Um, and we are going to try and annex Benin. So, yeah. Let's declare our intention to annex and start mobilizing people. Whoa! Look at that. Number 14. Unrecognized major power. That's who we are. Look at that. It's beautiful. Right behind Egypt. So I guess we're doing something right. Well, let's see. So... Um, let's send our general of all the troops on the Benin front and let's just make sure that nobody joins our enemies. Uh, right. Kalmar Union could join us. Um, yeah, sure, let's offer them an obligation. In the meantime, Benin is joined by the United States. They don't seem to have a lot of soldiers. Let's see. Okay, so it's 46 plus 581. Um, lots of conscripts. That doesn't sound good. Great Garment Factory fire has happened and a deadly fire has killed many workers in Liberia. Uh, yeah, we're, we're okay with... Octavius Mohammed must be held responsible for these deaths. So, sure, the United States will be interfering in our affairs, and that's not great. Wait, perhaps this is for the better. Uh, let's try and take some of those territories owned by the United States, such as American Guinea. Let's see if that does not deter Kalmar Union. No. Okay, so we can actually take over more territory than we had before. Um, almost certain that they will find it difficult to reinforce these fronts. So this should go well for us. Right, in the meantime we need to keep an eye on our markets. Let's see, what can we do here? Uh -huh, perhaps, since we are making luxury furniture, maybe we can protect domestic supplies and put uh, tax on the exports. Um, same for coffee, sugar, tools, wood, iron, hardwood, luxury clothes, and furniture. That sounds about right. Okay. 
let's see what what do we need right now yes for the war effort we will need the cannons wait did we import that from the united states are they gonna arm us for the war against them interesting one will this plague and say people in the null state and the answer is nobody knows we're doing our best um yes yeah, so we have a huge bureaucratic deficit so let's think about some routes that we can cancel um okay sulfur we definitely need a lot of sulfur let's see if there's any other routes we can cancel um yeah, the hard, this hardwood route is not as necessary brushing coal it's not either soon enough we, we shall have our own coal mines that's why we're going to war against the US right. okay so s the United States have decided not to mobilize yet which is good for us um, let's expand our government institutions in a couple of places and let's see how the war is going That's not the war view, it's the market view. Okay. No American forces on these two fronts. So that means that our allies will take over these territories. Easily. So this war is going well for us. So far. Um, I guess the Americans are just going to let us have it. Not sure as to why they decide to enter this war that they can't even win. Um, in the meantime, let's see, do we have any? These are not our battles, obviously. Neither are these. Seems like no battles outside of Africa are happening right now that are of interest to us. Except these ones. And we're winning them too. Oh, well, obviously our troops are not taking the initiative to take over these territories, but that's fine. Let's uh, raise the taxes as wartime requires everyone to chip in. We can't go deep into the debt. Let's see, yep. Most interesting for me is actually the American war support. And so far they're not too eager to accept our claims, but they're not backing their stance with troops. In the continent. So right now, essentially, the Americans would need to try to invade us by a, an amphibious assault, which I don't think will work. Right. I think that they're trying to reinforce the Benin front. But so far, we're winning quite handily here. Very few soldiers coming to this front, so that's of no concern to us. Right, um, we are lacking sulfur to make paper, so let's just import a little bit more sulfur so that the rest of the machinery can start moving forward. Let's see if there's... Ah, uh, okay, hand assembly would be better. Using steel to make tools is like a better plan as well. More paper is needed. Hmm. That's a tough one. Oh. Okay, so we have a revolution because they really, really want migration controls and we're just gonna give that to them. It's not great, but as long as they stay away from a uh, full on revolution. And so far it seems like that stayed the way the revolution. I wonder if there's a. Oh, no. Still happening, but. 
slower and slower. Minus one every week. Um, I wish there was some sort of a way to willfully make it harder to pass this law, but I suppose there's not. Um, right, let's uh, go for macroeconomics, which will gives us, which will give us more uh, trade route volume and uh, trade route competitiveness. Which now that we're a trading country, we need. And so the battles continue. Uh, of course, Americans are showing very formidable effectiveness in their armed forces. However, we outnumber them. And in this war, that's all that matters. Uh -huh, so we still are lacking ammunition. Uh, let's take it from the British market. And let's cancel all of the American trade routes, which are many and are completely ineffective. Due to obvious reasons, perhaps. And here we go slowly but surely. We're etching forward on the bend in front. Um, right. The first election. Liberia is holding its first election since the voting franchise has been extended to women, marking the beginning of a new era in Liberian democracy. A workers' movement must continue to fight for equality or a great victory for the suffragists. Which is like... These are two guys. Okay. Nah, I don't... I don't think the guys should be enjoying the fruits of, of this labor. That was made by, was it Ella? Our great leader of the intellectuals. Intelligentsia. Nope. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Here we go. That's Ella Ross. She should be the one who's more popular. Right. Um, let's continue to check if there's anything we can do to balance our budgets. Not really so far. We have a couple of blue events once again, which is unfortunate. So far we, we will continue focusing on the war. So as I understand, it doesn't seem like there's any more Americans left in the front. Oh no, there is still 12 battalions, but no more than that. So we're still safe in this war. Uh, revolution is still brewing, but... Soon we will pass migration controls, which is very unfortunate. I definitely don't want any migration controls due to multiple reasons, but so far it is what it is. Right, Benin has been annexed, and now the front moves to Congo, which uh, I kind of forgot that we even have a border with the United States here. Uh, either way, United States is not looking good. And they are offering us this deal, which we will not accept, because I want also to get the American Guinea. Right. Let's see, what else can we do? Input goods shortages, we need more paper. To get more paper, we need more sulfur. So let's uh, start importing more sulfur. Very unfortunate whenever paper needs are not met. We're just gonna wait for them to accept this condition. Since they barely have any more means to actually invade us. Okay, uh, we are starting to lose these battles though, so let's uh, focus on defending this front rather than attacking. Since I think defense we can do, just not offense. Right, yeah, our defense is roughly at the same level. Well, this battle we will lose, but the next one I'm sure we're gonna defend successfully. 
Right, uh, and uh, the Americans have staged a naval invasion. Which is very unfortunate. Yeah, let's just go with a white piece. I guess we're not going to win this because their military is just much better equipped. And we need the United States as a trading partner. We can't have this war for, go on forever. Let's get some more wood. Let's export some sugar. And synthetics. I mean dyes. Perhaps uh, fabric as well. Right, uh, now that we have taken over Benin, we need to continue focusing on incorporating this country. And, additionally, we need to think about uh, expanding our coal mines by a great deal. Let's see, what else can we do here? I want to start using dynamite and importing dynamite. It's incredibly important for us to have dynamite. Right. Kindly burn this letter. Osayan Houston, a prominent member of the Liberal Party, has been accused of gross corruption. He ten strenuously denied all allegations until damning letters surfaced signed by him. Liberty Party, Liberal Party, excuse me, should stand by Osayan Houston and deny everything. Uh, Osayan Houston should be isolated to protect the rest of the Liberal Party. Uh -huh, interesting. Well, either way, the Liberal Party is hurt. Alright, what's happening here? At the Amazigh Uprising. Let's see if we can see it. I don't quite understand what is happening right now. Um, let's see. Wait, how do I go to... Ah. Okay, so it's in Morocco. That makes a lot of sense. We have migration controls. I'm not incredibly happy about this, but at least a revolution will not be happening. And the last thing we want is a huge revolution when we have around 3 million radicals. Definitely far from perfect. Okay, we have some inactive and inefficient um, trade routes. So let's cancel those. We have an unhealthy economy. Uh, that's probably because of our tax inefficiency. Oh, that's not optimal. Right. That spells trouble. So. What we need to do is uh, expand our bureaucracy ASAP. Let's see, did we expand it here? We have indeed. Let's expand our paper factories. All right, and fine, let's just go with the full on construction sector. We need to build these. The faster we build them, the better. Maybe paper mills should be the priority. Government just administration as well. It's probably the expensive government goods that are making it difficult for us. Yes, goods for government buildings are costing us 20,000. The flu spreads. And it spreads and it spreads and it spreads. But we have 6 million people at the moment in the country. Uh, and while our GDP per capita has fallen greatly, we have number 9 economy in the world. We lost our rank, unfortunately. Well, it doesn't matter. It's all fluff, when you think of it. Okay, um, let's keep checking what can we do. So let's not import too much at the moment because just can't afford to import more but we do need these explosives so let's just go with the explosives 
because that's uh, our mines here depend on explosives. Yeah, so input shortage does result in difficulties when it comes to the uh, coal mines functioning, but so far everything is going well. We are going to expand them quite soon. Our government administration buildings will be expanded in one more week, so we can expect to have more bureaucracy. Yeah, so the crisis regarding the revolution has been averted, and I'm very happy because uh, the 3 million probably, I would assume this is what would happen, is that the most populous states in the country would revolt and there would be no chance of winning. Right, uh, we are having a diplomatic play here because Puta Jalon is having a revolution, unfortunately. Let's ask Portugal to help us out. Maybe we can have a defensive pact with them or somebody else. Anybody want a defensive pact? No. Oh, look at that. We were in the plus for just a second. Oh, here we are again. Oh, it seems like even our taxes are not that maximum. Okay, so something happened and what happened? Yeah, I think it's uh, because we built the bureaucracy buildings. We're getting in more taxes. So it's only plus 13% tax waste. Um, this trade thing is really strenuous. What is happening here? Um, sulfur is needed. Let's import some more sulfur. That's good. We have conveyor belts and we don't have the oil to actually take advantage of them. Because we need oil, right? Oh, look at that. Um, wait. These glass factories are making forest glass. Which is like the least effective. Oh, we need some lead. Let's get some lead going. War against the revolutionary footage alone has broken out. Fine by me. I don't think we'll need a lot to win. Okay, let's activate some of the conscripts in uh, Liberia. The flu continues to spread. How oh, footage alone is winning that war? Oh, yeah, that's actually the wrong tone. Oh, no, the revolutionary footage alone is winning that war. Okay, what can we do about that? Let's activate some more. Okay, from home base Liberia. Why are they so slow to mobilize? Okay, uh, Cyan Houston, he is offering us more, one more university. We need more paper for that, so. I'll go no. Let's check our diplomacy screen. Um, okay, infamy is reputable, so that's good. What is happening here? We didn't activate our conscripts on time, therefore we are losing the war. Now that is simply not good. Okay, let's just capitulate. Does that mean we lose them? As a yes, it does. And they're still at war with Portugal, somehow. Okay. That is not optimal, what just happened. So, perhaps we can declare a rivalry. Yes, we can. We have started a rivalry against Pudajalon since they somehow stopped being our vassal because we were silly about this war and we didn't take it seriously. But that's fine. I'm gonna fix that soon. All right. Uh, tax increased taxation is needed at the moment because we're probably lacking some goods to actually function as a country. Sulfur. 
Lead is also needed. What else we need? Explosives, certainly. Okay, that is starting to look much better. Um, let's protect domestic supply of coal. What's happening here? I'm hearing an event. Okay, it's the flu. Other than that, we're building up the coal mines. It's looking quite good so far. It's just that we don't have a stable supply of dynamite. We need more dynamite. So we have a truce with food at Geelong. And then once that truce ends, I will start moving in. In the meantime, perhaps we can make the home into a vassal. That would sound like a good plan. Why are we making so little money? Oh, once again, it's probably related to the fact that our bureaucracy is challenged. Um, let's try and get more people working there. Telephone switchboards would be great if there were telephones. But let's see, perhaps we can actually... Huh, okay, I've... is that a bug? So if I make tele switch to a telephone switchboard, we have a positive bureaucracy now, which is great, but we don't have any telephones. So that's quite curious. Let's see. Can we import? No, nobody's making any telephones, but it's working, I guess. So, who's to say I'm doing something wrong? Right. We need telephones, nobody's making them, so we're just gonna have to do without. Our telephone switchboards don't have any telephones. Right, let's export to footage long market. I don't like that. Uh, we need some tools as well. Let's see, um, our glass factory is running into a lead issue, so we need more lead. Spanish market, perhaps. Okay, leaded glass would work much better. Okay, now we're a bit more balanced. Oh, we need more fish, apparently. Okay, manual drilling seems to be the way to go for now. Since we're lacking a lot of different goods at the moment. Wood from the Sicilian market. Um, let's export furniture, clothing, carbonized lamp I'm really upset about the very dumb way we lost food at Uh but we're gonna get it back. Okay, now we're getting into the negative again when it comes to our bureaucracy, which is not perfect. So... Let's expand our government administration somewhere. So now they want closed borders. I'm, I'm not gonna do closed borders for sure. So we can dream about it. Um, what else do we want to do? Um, I think that we should try and change the trade policy once again. Let's see if that works out. Perhaps we can lower the taxes. No. And we need to repay that. Uh, oh, so it's minus 24,000 from the interest. 
Let's check where we are paying those subsidies. Liberia has come a long way since our attention was first brought to it, going from small houses and, a, and scattered farmlands to being on its way to become a booming metropolis. Finally, Liberia shines like never before. Or this is not the end. Now oh, let's 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 do loyalists. We need more loyalists, so that other option gives us more loyalists. Right, we're making some money now, but not enough to lower the taxes. Um, but maybe enough to increase. No, not enough to increase the salaries. The economy is volatile right now, as we can see. Cross-border investments. Liberian industrialists are interested in making investments in neighboring Messina industries. An excellent investment, or we want to keep it domestic. Yeah, okay, let's help out Messina a little bit. Why not? So increase the quality of our troops here. Can we lower taxes now? No. Not reliably at least. What is taking place here? Fascist Sierra Leone? Oh, I will be watching this. Fascist Sierra Leone is it doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. I don't think there has ever been a big fascist movement in Africa. And that's how specific to, let's say, Western European context fascism is. It's just not a thing in a lot of places. But okay, sure. I'm going to be on the wrong side of history here, but I hope that uh, fascist Sierra Leone wins because then I can take over Sierra Leone. Isn't that nice? Right, oh, uh, what other goods are currently in the dire need of... Aha, uh -huh. it seems like the sulfur demand has almost been met. And uh, what about our incorporation of Liberia into the country? Three more years, okay. That is perfectly fine with me. I'm wondering if we could take over Shanti since they have sulfur factories. Um, mines, not factories. Here we go, but it's only one. So yeah, that's a problem. I wish, I wish, I wish you could build buildings in your vassal states. Then I would need to annex Ashanti, but from the way it's looking right now, I might need to quite soon. So, maybe we can start working on making the homey a vassal state, or should we wait until we pay off the debt? Might take a while. How much of that debt do we have? Five million. Every month we pay off a little bit of that debt. Alright, let's see if we have any populations that are not currently working. Yeah, we do. Eleven thousand here. What about like uh Benin? Actually not Liberia. We do as well. Um let's expand the uh industries that actually work well. Yeah, we can do elastics here. And automated power looms. That's working quite well. Now let's see what if we can improve anything here. Yes, we can use precision tools and a rotary bulb engine. Brilliant. Perhaps we can improve the effectiveness of uh, these industries as well. 
Let's just keep quickly go through it. Yeah, probably too many, but we can move on to Fig Orchards. Huh. I'm talking about Ben and they have quite a few livestock ranches. If we made more tools, we could improve some of it. Um, some of it is already quite functional. Oh, we can have condensing engine pump now. Mm -hmm. We can use dynamite in our iron mines, and that will actually save lives. I didn't notice that there's a... Mortality malice to neutral glycerin. Coffee plantations, automatic irrigation. So this is something we'll need for all of these plantations, is automatic irrigation. No questions asked. Now logging camps. Not all of them can use the saw. Yep. But Steam Dunk? No. Oh, Steam Trawlers would make our fishing wharves more efficient. Okay. So this is quite stable now. Um, we have a situation where... Yeah, okay, so 28 months that's two and a bit years. We're, we're very positive when it comes to our budget. Uh, the GDP is through the roof right now. And the effectiveness is being improved every day. Uh, hopefully quite soon we'll get a situation where uh, almost everyone in Benin is actually working in manufacturing or one of the plantations perhaps. If we can make them more efficient. So yeah, that is looking great i think um, the only the only problem is that we let footage along go and unfortunately yes uh, sierra leone didn't win the civil war so he remained in the country uh, so a miscalculation on my part when it comes to footage long uh, but benin is officially within the liberian state and we are slowly incorporating it completely and that means that we have much more coal Let's see what's the coal ba balance right now. Probably we can't export it yet, but we should have... Yes! We have a positive coal balance, and that's the main takeaway here from taking over Benin. Coal. That's looking good. I wonder if we decide to export, we would make a lot of money. Apparently not. Well, anyway, that saves us a lot of in in the butt when it comes to importing coal and actually before we leave i think i can simply stop importing it all right let's see so Now we need more. <laughs> I thought that uh, the buy orders, uh, excuse me, the sell orders only include domestic supply, but uh, apparently that's not the case. Now some people got fired. Okay, we still have might have a uh, landowner revolution to preserve American Merc. I don't know how to pronounce that. Mercantilism. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Either way, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a slow episode since, uh, yeah, we had uh, two wars. One I won and the other one I lost, unfortunately. But in the next episode, what we will be looking at is Liberia consolidating even more lands here in the uh, territory of modern day Nigeria and even a little bit to the west while we're trying to make sure that our economy works for 
all the industries that we currently have. And it seems like it's working for everyone in uh, Liberia as we have quite a high standard of living. It will be much better right now that we incorporated Benin. It seems like the standard of living has fell, but we will work hard to make sure that everyone is included in that statistic. In the meantime, Liberia, Liberian GDP is number 10 in the world and GDP per capita is number 7. So bearing in mind that the population almost doubled, this is a great result. So come back again next time when we keep building up a Liberian economy and influence in West Africa. Thank you for watching and good night.